the punishment range for that is a minimum of two years. One of the questions that I get quite often they're driving on the roadway and they're stopped, they're alleged to be intoxicated, and they have a child. Hi, I'm criminal defense attorney Tim Powers, and today we're talking about juvenile offenses and juvenile crimes in the state of Texas. Juvenile law is a different body of law, and it really comes under the family code with a little combination of the criminal code. It applies to people who are above the age of 10 or less than the age of 17. At the age of 17 in the state of Texas, one becomes an adult in the criminal court system and is charged as an adult. So we're talking about people who have already had their 10th birthday, but have not yet achieved their 17th birthday. Juvenile crimes can be classified in numerous categories and typically they're levels one through six. In juvenile offenses, the good thing about the reporting procedure is that most juvenile offenses are not reported to the general public. They are available to the military, they are available to law enforcement and background checks, and to many state agencies. So it is a very, very serious matter. Punishment ranges for juvenile offense could be nothing at all. It could be what's called a deferred disposition, where someone is on a six month, very, very informal supervision, typically minimal amount of community service, and it's typically for first offenders only, and the case is discharged and can be immediately sealed. Sometimes it's what's called a non-judicial disposition, where the facts of the offense are such or the state decides just to dismiss the offense without any consequences whatsoever. Sometimes cases are non-suited, meaning that your attorney is able to get the case dismissed outright. There are other consequences that could potentially happen with juvenile offenses as well. A juvenile probation up to the age of 18. The juvenile defendant could be placed in a boot camp, could be taken out of the home, placed in a foster home, could be placed in a halfway house, or placed in what's called a post-adjudication facility, which is typically located within the county, and it is normally very, very similar to a boot camp and school combined. For serious felony offenses for a juvenile, one could be sent to what they call the Texas Juvenile Justice Department. It used to be called Texas Youth Commission, and it's a prison for juvenile offenders, and they could be sentenced for up to the age of 19. When a case is very, very serious, such as aggravated sexual assault, murder, and the child is 15 years of age or older but has not yet attained 17, then that child could be certified as an adult and be sentenced as an adult as a normal adult offender. If your son or daughter is charged with a juvenile offense under investigation by the police or a school resource officer, call the law offices of Tim Powers. We represent juvenile cases with the same aggressive criminal defense for which we represent adults. Law Office of Tim Powers, located in Denton County, 940-483-8000, or in Collin County, 972-724-4820. We fight for you. Law Office of Tim Powers, timpowers.com.